Hey everybody, it is Mike. Um, I am going to do part four of the Children of the Corn franchise review. Part four is known as The Gathering. Uh, part four is just a little bit different at the beginning uh, as far as the children part goes. Um, with parts one, two, and three, it was pretty much the weird kids in the town that all became kind of a part of this cult to where Part four has a little bit of a psychic element. Um, we have Naomi Watts as Grace in this. It was released in 1996. Um, it was one of her earlier roles. It went direct to video, much like three and all of the rest of them did. Um, it also stars Karen Black. Um, they, yeah, it's, there's a few other people in it um, as as far as the plot goes, basically, we have the these um, uh, they're dead kids that that create a fever through all the town's kids, um, and we find out eventually that these dead kids were actually uh, well, the main one, Josiah, was actually the son of um, one of these old women that lived together. Uh, I don't know exactly know how to explain it other than to just say that um, uh, they go to, uh, the, these two old ladies live together, their sisters, um, Jane and Rosa, and they find out that Josiah was a preacher child, um, that he was a bastard son of a local woman, uh, he had been taken in by traveling preachers and became a gifted preacher. Uh, but then Josiah stopped aging and never grew out of his boyhood. Eventually, the traveling preachers gave him over to darkness. We find out that they, they gave him over to darkness to stun his growth. Um, but then they ended up killing him and burning him and putting him in a wall. Uh, so it turns out that Rosa that slut, was actually the mother of Josiah. So Josiah comes back, and he gives a fever to the whole town, all the kids. Every kid in town gets a fever. And all of a sudden, the fever breaks. Now, the reason that Grace came back was because her mother, uh, played by Karen Black, uh, her name is June, was having these nightmares about this, this happening. Um, these kids, all the kids in the town kind of going crazy and killing, trying to kill her. Uh, but the doctor, his name is Larson, Dr. Larson, calls Grace and says, hey, we, we really need you to take care of your mom and your little brother and sister because she's not well. So Grace drops out of school for a semester, comes back home to take care of her mom um, and her sister and brother. And I say sister. I'll explain that. Um, and she's working at this clinic with Dr. Larson when this fever comes, hits I, just everybody, even including her brother and sister. Uh, then all of a sudden, when the fever breaks, these kids no longer identify as to who they were. They, they go by biblical names. So that's where the psychic part in this movie comes in. The, the dead kid Josiah basically takes over the minds of all the kids and turns them into his new army. Uh, so yeah, they run around um, killing people. <coughs> they show up at this couple's house, uh, Donald and Grace, and they have been very worried about their son, Marcus, because he's been acting very odd since the fever broke. And all of a sudden this boy preacher, child preacher, shows up at the house along with a bunch of other kids uh, to preach to the couple, uh, Donald and her name is Sandra, and uh, eventually Sandra ends up getting killed right there in her living room with her husband and her son. Uh, the son takes off and disappears into the fields, and then the father also leaves and hides because he knows he'll be blamed for the death. Uh, eventually, he catches up with Grace because Grace knows something isn't right. Um, so he and she go back to the clinic. 
um, where they had left her little sister with her friend Mary Ann um, and co-worker and of course the doctor uh, but when they get there nobody's there um, however Josiah and the kids um, had all given blood so Mary Ann was testing the blood with to see if they because there was something wrong with the blood she couldn't figure it out somehow mercury got into the mix and the blood like went away from the the um, mercury so Mary Ann figured out that oh this there's something really wrong with these kids but then weird stuff you know she's trying to find the doctor she's trying to find um, because the blood is expanding and growing and getting bigger and wider and basically this big old long thing comes flying out um, and ends up killing Marianne which is sad uh, she was a good character so what so when they when Grace and Donald get there there's nobody there in the meantime back at the house um, June is being basically attacked by kids that are tr getting into her house. So instead of staying in the house, even though she's agor agoraphobic, um, which is the whole reason Grace had to come home, because her mom was... Um, she did eventually force herself to leave the house and go past her sidewalk. Because she could go outside and throw stuff at the trash cans, but she couldn't go to the trash cans because they were off of her sidewalk. Uh, but when the kids came into the house, she booked. Um, and she got in her truck, got in a truck, and took off. And as she was flying down the road, she noticed her son walking into a barn, an abandoned barn. So she turns around and goes back, goes into the barn, um, sees some dead people, flips out, and then um, Josiah worked his magic and took care of Mama June. Kind of sad. Um, in the meantime, back at the doctor's office, they figure out something was going on with the blood. Uh, Donald and Grace, they know that the sister is missing. The daughter, or Grace's sister, is missing, and Donald wants to save his son. So they go to, I don't know how they ended up at this barn, but I, I, it was just part of the plot. They figured out what was going on. They go to this barn. Um, they see all the kids around this pool. Uh, and they try to, um, they want somebody to give blood to the, um, whatever's the, he who walks behind the rows is bubbling in this, like, trough. Uh, and so Marcus um, has a blood clotting disease. His blood doesn't clot. So if he gets a cut, uh, he, he can bleed to death. So he does get cut, uh, and the blood goes into the pool, and there's all this blah, 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 blah. Um, he passes out from the loss of blood, and then Grace's sister ends up in the pool, or the bubbles, the, yeah, whatever. Um, but Grace and Donald had figured out that mercury would kill them, so they attached some kind of something to the sprinkler system that was full of mercury, and then they had some mercury bullets. Um, Donald sneaks in to save his son, takes him to a truck. All the kids follow him to try to get Marcus back and to kill Donald. Uh, while that is happening, Grace is, like, walking around. She finds mom dead. She finds Doc dead. She finds all these other people dead. Um, and then uh, Josiah shows up, and Josiah's a little flunky. I guess he's dead, too. And she shoots him with the mercury bullets, so the one kid, the one dies. Um, and then she turns on the sprinklers, and Josiah gets all melty and gooey. Um, and she throws him in the bubbles in the pit where he who walks behind the rose is. And it stops bubbling, becomes normal water, and her sister's floating in it. And then back out at the truck, all the kids just stop and walk away. So they all become normal again. Uh, so yeah, so that's it basically ends with Donald and his son Marcus 
and Grace and his brother and her brother and sister, because the brother also survived, um, moving out of Iowa. Now we also find out at that time that Grace is actually her little sister's mother. She's it's she's the mother, not the sister, to this little girl, and that she had gotten pregnant and left the baby behind to go be a doctor. So there we go. Um, overall, this movie, is, it was okay. It was fun to watch. Uh, the practical effects and the deaths are really good. Um, I would give the doctor's death the, uh, the A-plus score for the most graphic of the deaths, although Marianne's is pretty bad, too. Um, actually, all of them are. We have a decapitation. We have um, people getting you know, gored and fingers cut off and slashed to death. So pretty good overall. Of the nine deaths, they're all pretty good. Um, and that includes the, the kid who gets shot with a mercury bullet and then uh, Mr. Melty. The plot, mm, mm, um, probably not my favorite plot of the Children of the Corn, mainly because of that whole psychic uh, dead kid thing. Uh, I don't know how many of the rest of these do that, but this one was definitely that. Um, so, yeah, probably a C for the plot. I did like the acting. I thought that, of course, Naomi Watts was really good. Uh, Karen Black was perfectly creepy in this one. I love her. Um, I like the doctor. I like the guy who played Donald. He was really good. I'm going to say his name is Brent G Jennings, maybe. Um, but, yeah. Overall, acting, even the kids were pretty good. The little girl who plays uh, Naomi Watts' little sister, uh, why I can't think of her name is driving me crazy. Um, but <coughs> I think it's Elizabeth. Uh, the person who plays Elizabeth was actually the little girl, um, Dante's Peak. She was in that the next year, so I like her. Uh, so as far as acting, I'll give that a, a B. As far as the... Um, buy-in. I bought into it once the kids kind of trans... I mean, it was it was an okay movie right from the start. I love Karen Black, so immediately I bought into her. Um, I really like Naomi Watts, so I really bought into her character. The characters all seemed... Um, the main character... The adult characters all seemed basically normal. There was no, like, shyster in the bunch. Um, even the two old sisters that lived together, they were pretty likable. Um... So yeah, characters, I'll give that a B as well. As far as the deaths, it was pretty brutal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that an A. And overall, I would give this movie a B. So a B minus, probably somewhere right around there. Uh, definitely one I would keep in my collection if I had a single copy of it, but since it's in a collection of collection of the collection, I'm going to keep it anyway. So that is it for this one, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>